Eyes across Jamaica. News from every angle. Let's see what is popping in the news. And remember, like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell. The narcotics police made two major drug busts in the corporate area and St. Catherine within the last 24 hours. In the first incident, about 9 p.m. on Wednesday, detectives from the narcotics division and the St. Catherine South Police conducted a targeted operation in the Portmore Fishing Village along Dyke Road. The operation was aimed at targeting people involved in the guns for drugs trade between Jamaica and Haiti, the police said. During the operation, the lawmen seized a 9mm pistol, a .380 pistol, 11 9mm cartridges, 2.380 cartridges, approximately 5 kilos of cocaine, US $6,400, a 32-feet boat, a Toyota Probox motor car, and a Nissan caravan. Two men were taken into custody. A boat captain and a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Their names are being withheld pending further investigations. The cocaine has an estimated street value of US $250,000. Police are reporting that an alleged member of the Grey Ground Gang was last night shot dead and another man has been hospitalized following a gun attack in Blenheim near Newport in the parish. The deceased has been identified as Terriano McKenzie. He is said to be the cousin of the alleged leader of the Grey Ground Gang, Rohan Boomhead Smiley. Head of the Manchester Police, Superintendent Gary Francis said McKenzie's death could be linked to his alleged criminal lifestyle. He said shortly after 8 p.m., Gunmen pounced upon a group of people at an establishment, opening fire and hitting McKenzie and another man. What would have led to his death? We are not sure, but McKenzie was a member of the Grey Ground Gang and led a criminal lifestyle. He has been the subject of police investigations. We theorize that his criminal lifestyle could have led to his demise, but we are investigating the matter, said Francis. Customers and staff at Scotiabank Hagley Park Branch in St. Andrew were left terrified today after a man pulled a knife inside the bank. The circumstances leading to his actions were not immediately clear. Security guards intervened and the police responded. No one was harmed. The last time earthquake come catch me in here. No, I'm trembling. The last time earthquake catch me in here. The building shit down with me. No, I tremble. Beer gun. Beer gun. Oh my God. Yeah, I can't believe them letting him out just like that.